What is up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of the best ways to improve your aim in Fortnite, whether you're on keyboard or controller, and that's called aim beast. In this video, I'll be doing an ultimate guide to aim beast, going over why I think it's the most revolutionary aim trainer for Fortnite, as well as multiple amazing routines for Fortnite built into aim beast directly that you can start following today. So without further ado, be sure to drop a like if the video helps you out, subscribe if you're new and want to see more, and let's get into it. Now, before we do get into the juice of this video, I do want to be transparent with you all and let you all know that this video is in fact sponsored by aim beast as you may know i really don't usually do full-length video promotions on my channel and the only reason that i decided to do this was because i took a look at aim beast and realized that it's genuinely an amazing app for improving so while this video is sponsored, the creators of AimBeast made it very clear that I can give my honest opinions, which I absolutely will be doing. That being said, everything that I say in this video is my own honest opinion. And if at any point you decide to check it out, the link to AimBeast is going to be right near the top of the description and in the pinned comment. And as a bonus, guys, if you're watching this video between March 15th and March 29th of 2022, there's currently a massive sale where you can get AimBeast for 60% off. So be sure to check that out either in the pinned comment or in the description. But without further ado, let's get into it. So hopping into the actual juice of this video, let's talk about why Aim Beast is the ultimate aim trainer for Fortnite. The first thing I want to highlight in this section is the basic features that make Aim Beast so useful. Starting off, Aim Beast features an absolute ton of in-app routines that you can use specifically for Fortnite, including the ones I'll be discussing later in the video. As well as that, AimBeast features a deep learning and dynamic AI system, so instead of the constant robotic target movements that you see in other games, the objects that you shoot in AimBeast actually simulate the movements of real players in Fortnite, and you can even customize it based on your own preferences. On top of that, there's an incredible map editor where you can design and even publish your own custom aim training scenarios on top of all the other scenarios in the game. So if you find something that you want to practice and you can't seem to find it, you can literally just create it yourself. How awesome is that? As you know, aim training in Fortnite is something that I advocate for and it literally makes such a massive difference. And what I really love about Aim Beast is the diverse and unique training methods it offers, as well as the customizability where you can literally change every single thing and design entire scenarios and routines from scratch. On top of that, another great quality of life factor is that Aim Beast has exact customization for your sensitivity. That includes input curve customization for controller players to match your linear or exponential in game, and it also has the lowest input delay and highest performance of any aim trainer on the market. And just as a side note, you can literally do your exact sensitivity, your exact ADS, and everything like that. And it's super simple to do. All you literally have to do is select Fortnite and go through that. It's super simple. I'll show it later. Even beyond that, another part of AimBeast, which I personally love, is the rank system. The rank system has three different categories, including clicking, tracking, and switching. And the ranks range all the way from bronze to grandmaster. As well as that, AimBeast features in-depth leaderboards where you can climb the ranks in each scenario. And it also has incredible in-depth progress tracking, where you can see precisely how much you've improved over time. So now that we've gone over my 500 reasons why AimBeast is so awesome, let's talk about how you can actually get started. So to actually access AimBeast, you're going to need to go through the Steam store and it can be picked up for 20 US dollars or only $8 if you're doing it with my link. Obviously that link's only active from March 15th to March 29th. Even if you're watching this later on though and the sale is over, it's still worth the price. Obviously the price tag may be a bit hefty to some of you, but it's absolutely worth the price if you're willing to put the work in to improve your aim. Think of it as like a long-term investment because you pay 20 bucks once, but then you have the thing forever and you can improve your aim literally as much as you want. So hopping into the actual app, what we're going to be doing is going over some of the basics when it comes to setting everything up. It's super simple to start off. All you've got to do is head into your settings once you've launched the game, and you're going to adjust your input type, sensitivity scale, and sensitivity to match Fortnite. So since I play keyboard and mouse with 15.5% sensitivity, I'm simply going to select mouse, Fortnite, and 15.5 sensitivity. And if you're on controller, all you have to do is select controller, your curve, which is either standard, aka legacy, linear, or dynamic, which is exponential. Then you can change your FOV. I personally use 103 FOV on HDEG res since it matches Fortnite, but you can also choose to mix it up if you want to. Then simply scroll down a bit more, turn on ADS, switch it to Fortnite, and change the multiplier to whatever it is in game. Since I use 50% for my ADS, I'm going to set it to 50. And below that, you can choose to change up your crosshair and hit marker or keep them the same. That's totally up to you. And with that said, guys, with those settings done, you should be all set. You can choose whether or not to adjust your graphics, such as your colors, as well as audio, miscellaneous, and controls, but ultimately the game tab is going to be the biggest one. I would recommend you check your other tabs, especially the graphics tab, since that allows you to change the colors of your targets and everything like that. Ultimately, you really just want to make sure it fits everything that you prefer, but it should be mostly good already. So now that you've been able to get started and get your settings ready, now it's time to actually get into the aim training. 
Once you head to the play tab, you're going to have four different navigation options being normal, ranked, custom, and routines. Now, personally, I'm more so trying to practice than grind leaderboards, so I'm not overly worried about ranked. And since we're practicing specifically for Fortnite, we're going to want to use a routine. So with that said, we're now going to hop into the routines that I actually recommend for Aim Beast. All you've got to do is hop into the routines tab and search Fortnite by name. From there, you're going to have a few different options, but the one we're mainly going to be looking at are TRM's Fortnite training routines. There are going to be three different routines for Fortnite by TRM, which are going to be 15, 30, and 60 minutes. Ultimately, these routines all emphasize well-rounded practice with short, mid, and long range. They also all have static and dynamic aiming, and they can serve either as a warm-up or a hardcore practice routine. Regarding which specific routine I recommend, they're all very similar, but it really depends on your goals. If you want a really solid grind session, you really want to put the work in, then you might choose the 60-minute one or the 30-minute one for a solid practice routine that isn't too hardcore and time-consuming. Or you could choose the 15-minute routine for a quick warm-up before you hop on, or even like a a quick cooldown after you finish playing. These routines are all fantastic though, and if you want to hop in and get some work in without having to fully design your own routine, then this is a great way to do that. And as you improve with these routines, you can also use them to rank up and you can track your progress on them super easily, which is obviously great. The big thing to keep in mind with the TRM routines though, is that a lot of their scenarios can actually be really difficult before you get used to them. So really guys, just be patient with it, keep practicing, and you'll be surprised by how much you can improve in a fairly short amount of time. As well as that guys, if you're not a routine type of person and you really just want to pick out some scenarios to run then there's also a massive library of over 800 scenarios and growing you've also got a ton of different rank scenarios and you can even create your own scenarios if you're feeling extra fancy as we've already discussed so overall whether you want some really solid routines a library of scenarios to play or if you even want to create and design your own custom routines and scenarios aim beast has got you covered but overall guys that's going to wrap it up for today's video on the aim trainer aim beast i really think that this is the best aim trainer for fortnite right now with tons of different built-in routines a brand new rank system in-depth progress tracking, deep learning AI, and even the ability to create your own scenarios. AimBeast is easily the most versatile aim training app on the market right now, in my opinion. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing if you're new as well. And once again, guys, be sure to click the link near the top of the description or in the pinned comment to claim your 60% off between March 15th and March 29th. It's genuinely an awesome sale. It doesn't really happen very often, so be sure to take advantage of it. And even if it is past the 29th when you're watching this video, still be sure to give it a shot because it's absolutely worth it. But with all that said, guys, thank you all for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.